Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to AdMats plus Maths. We are now going to solve paper 1, variant 2 of additional mathematics paper of IGCSE, October, November 2012, question 3, letter I, or the first question. It is equivalent to 5 marks. This question is basically proving trigonometric identities. Okay, in proving trigonometric identities, what I always tell my student is that make everything, so one of the method that I'm doing is make all across should be sine and cosine. So if you will see on the left side is the most complex one, so I'm going to do the left hand side of the identity. And now, what I'm going to do, trying to do is, I'll make the cotangent a sine and cosine. And remember, cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent theta. And tangent theta is, is very popular to be equivalent to sine over cosine. And the reciprocal of sine over cosine is cosine over sine. Thus, cotangent now is cosine over sine. So let's replace cotangent to cosine over sine. Cosine theta over sine theta. Then write everything. Okay, 1 plus cosine theta. You will notice that I can already add this to, okay, this times this is cosine theta plus cosine squared theta. Why? Cosine theta times 1 is cosine. Cosine times cosine is cosine squared theta, okay, plus sine times sine is sine squared theta, okay, divided by of course, you can multiply this, but I will, I will just leave it as sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta. Okay, why did I just left it like that? Because you will notice that cosine theta plus sine theta will be equivalent to 1 based, your, based to your trigonometric identities. So, you will now be left with 1 plus cosine. So 1 plus cosine theta divided by sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta. Okay. Is equal now to cosecant theta. And remember, since I have a factor, I have 1 plus cosine on the numerator. And I have 1 plus cosine in the on the denominator. And I can cancel that out. I will be left with 1 on top. And 1 over sine is cosecant theta. Okay. You will see the marking scheme after this. To verify if what I've done is correct. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Those of you who are uh, watching or keep on watching my videos, please don't forget to like if you have learned something today. Thank you and God bless.